Hello, I'm Pablo for Nicola. In this segment, we're going to take a look at the article offering add-in in combination with a exciting new add-in that we're developing in cooperation with the University of Cambridge, uh, in particular, uh, Dr. Peter Murray Rust. Uh, this new add-in is called Cam for Word, and really we're taking a look at a preview right now, a sneak peek, if you want to think of it that way, uh, into what this add-in will provide in relation to Word. Here we already have a document that we started, and I'm going to go ahead and type in a, a chemical element. We'll type benzene. And um, as you notice, uh, we get this red underline under benzene, which means that it has been recognized as a chemical compound. So we'll go ahead and convert this to chemistry zone. Now, the interesting thing here is now benzene is not just a, a set of words. Uh, but actually has some semantics around it. It is a chemistry zone. Um, this is fairly important later on for when you want to do search or analyze uh, documents. So now that we have uh, benzene recognized as a chemistry zone, we can go ahead and change the view options. So instead of using the common name benzene, we can actually use the chemical name for the compound. Uh, or we can go ahead and show the, the formula representation for it. Or we can go ahead and change this to the 2D representation. Now, the interesting thing is uh, the words that we were looking at before or the image that we see now, uh, those are not, not just words or pictures, but there's actually semantics behind them. Uh, there is a XML representation of this compound in a language called CML, which gets stored as part of the word file and can be later retrieved. Now that we have this 2D representation here, we'll go ahead and click on Tweak 2D, and we're able to change, uh, for example, this carbon to a silicon, or this other carbon here to a germanium. And if you notice, uh, the, the bond with the hydrogen becomes explicit in both cases. And if I want to, I can go ahead and rearrange uh, the layout uh, for this compound over here. And when we click OK, that gets reflected on the document. Now, let's take a look at something important here. When I click on View Options, the add-in recognizes that this is no longer benzene. So the two naming options for the common name and the chemical name are no longer available. So either we display it as 2D or we display it as a formula. So we think that this will enhance quite a bit uh, the ability to search and the ability to, uh, to, analyze, um, to analyze articles. Uh, especially when you take into account the structure of the document. We have this, this, this chemical element within its introduction, but maybe we have you know, another chemical element within the conclusion, and I can search for similar articles that refer to this compound in the conclusion. Also, when we save this as the NLM format, all the chemical information uh, is preserved. Uh, the, the National Library of Medicine XML format has an element called a chemstruct which is where we use to store the, the CML. So we think that this is fairly important and, uh, and fairly useful in relation to producing uh, semantically rich documents that will be of greater value later on as one wants to search the web or do semantic analysis on different publications.